everyone, how's it going? Here with Sean today, we are uh, scrapping stuff. Old trucks, scrap steel, junk. So this used to be our old grain truck. Let's call it Old Red. We had this in the 80s, it had a 14 foot uh, wooden box on it. This was actually our nice truck. And then I remember, uh, I remember one time mom was unloading from that 95 John Deere combine and it had a little rod sticking out for the auger and she caught the mirror, ripped the door off. <laughs> remember that. So that's why it has a different color door on it. Anyways, so we've been working here yesterday, today, getting all this scrap here. I've got some old bale feeders, an old disc. Um, just junk that's been laying around for years. I've been uh, stealing parts off this disc and uh, actually none of the parts fit our discs anymore, our John Deere disc anyway. So, yeah, I just got some odds and ends. Here's an old, uh, an old binder that was on my place. If you pull it and it's a uh, wheel drive, drives the old chain on there. I think this thing had canvases on it at one time. The old sickle there. Old straw chopper from the TR-70. Um, yeah, that old truck over there. Uh, yeah, and I just, oh, I just brought this grain bin here. I didn't even know it was under it. <laughs> this old steel grain bin that uh, blew over in the in the wind there that one day. So I went and grabbed it for them so I can put it right here in their scrap pile. So I'll just give the camera to Sean and I'll set it down. So it's, it's, uh, it's six o'clock right now. The uh, True Green Metal Recycling, their hole is just smashing up all the, smashing up all the metal into smaller pieces. There's my grain bin. I was in the house, I came in to see what all the ruckus was about, but their, tr their Super V truck has, uh, hasn't arrived yet because the roads are so bad. It's, it is snowing like crazy all over the place, except for here. Well, right now it is, but we haven't got any snow compared to everybody else. We've got like just a skip of snow. So what they do is they... They come and gather it. I put it pretty much all in a in a row, and then they'll come and gather it all up like this, and then they'll load it up, and then they'll use a magnet and make sure there's no steel on the ground anymore, which I don't want because tires tires cost a lot of money right now. So now he's going to get the combine. They took the glass out of it or not? Maybe they did. I thought they were going to. It doesn't look like it. Maybe you're just gonna put it there, but I thought they, they don't they have to take the glass out. Oh. 
It is, I'll tell you one thing though, it is cold. So cold. There is glass in that old 95 combine, it's tough. I didn't think they were gonna do this tonight. But. So he's still gonna grab this truck here too. So. But as is always the case, when I'm filming in the cold, my hand is freezing. good lights on that hole. Wish I had the same. My lights aren't bad, but they're not LEDs. So. I think he's going back to get the other little bit of that combine that I couldn't get. that dryer there. Behind that in your pile there's a little bit of metal I smashed from that combine. So. Anyway, we'll come back in the morning and I'll continue filming. All right. So they showed up today. The weather was pretty bad, so the roads are pretty bad. So So I think my stuff is only going to take the front bin. Yeah. Makes pretty short work all that. There's my old inland sprayer boom. I think that was a 50 foot sprayer. It was a 50 foot sprayer. I kept the tank though. The, tra the trailer in the tank used it as a tote. Nurse tank or something for water. Actually, I was thinking of making a pressure washing rig out of it. take a good beating. Oh, there's my parts washer. A little bit of the John Deere 95. It's 
So what they'll do after is they'll come back with a magnet, scoop everything up with a magnet that, that's metal. Get those small pieces off the ground. Uh, oh, I think he didn't cut a hydraulic line or an air line. Anyway. We'll come back after this is done when he gets the truck. There goes the old chef. to film with gloves on. Everything gone now. Oh, he's gonna get this truck now. That'll take up a little space. Okay, well, the guys are done. I actually had to go to the cows and come back, and they're finished already. So they're just taking off. And there's the scrap truck. So it's a little dark out now, but he told me he magged, uh, call it mag, with a big magnet. So he said he got a lot of nails out of here, which I knew was going to be the case because that old truck box here was taken apart and nails were falling all over the place. So he ran the magnet all over the place here and got a bunch of nails. So pretty much all you're left with is uh, all this non-metal wooden stuff here that I gotta clean up, so. A couple hoses, yeah. And that's all you, that's all you got there, so. I'll clean this up in the daylight. And now we got a lot more space. I probably got enough uh, room here, or enough, enough metal here yet for another load if I go around and dig out every little thing that I don't want. Yeah, so they, they said they'll be around again. So anyway, that's true green, true green metal. Uh, anybody in the Alberta, Saskatchewan area needs uh, scrap metal taken away, they're heading down south now. So get in contact with them. All right, thanks for watching.